Let's start with the book, though, and the title of the book. Yeah. Uh, Naked at the Albert Hall. Is this to do with stage fright? Is it an yes. anxiety dream? What's going on? It's one of it's an actual anxiety dream that I had. I mean, I've had several over the years. Um, you know, you're either on stage, you're with the wrong band or something, or suddenly you can't remember any of the words. Um, but my all-time favourite was where I had a dream that I was on stage at the Royal Albert Hall. Gig was actually going brilliantly, so you'd think this wasn't an anxiety dream. Everything's going well, and halfway through, I just looked down at myself, and I was completely naked. <laughs> and um, what have you read into this down the years? Well, it, it seems to me that it, it's pretty simple, you know, to analyse. I just fear exposure, I suppose. You know, that fear that you're standing in front of people and you're really, really vulnerable. Mm. Um, and I think that's that's at the heart of stage fright, really, and then that's really... Um, the thing that stopped me getting back on stage. We're getting to the heavy stuff uh, quite early into the interview, but is, is, that, is that what it is? There's so many people who would love to hear you sing live and you, you haven't done it for 15 years. Is it all down to stage fright? You do cover this in the book. What, what's, your, what's your answer to that one when people ask you? The thing is, when I actually stopped, I really um, stopped because of having kids and I thought it was a you know perfect time just to take a break and spend a few years at home with the kids. A different type of fright. A different type of fright. But actually, for me, it was quite relaxing. Um, and I think then what's happened is having not sung live now for a long time, it feels um, much more difficult to get back to it. Because for years and years, I, I managed to work through having stage fright and mm. I did perform. And I think there's something about getting into the habit of doing something, even if you're a bit phobic about it, that you sort of, you know, it almost immunise yourself against it by doing it. But the trouble now is I, I've, I've got out of the habit. Did you ever enjoy it? It sounds like maybe yes. you didn't. Oh, no, I did. I, I certainly don't want to paint an entirely bleak picture of years of being on tour. It was more that it was always a bit fraught. Mm. Um, I mean, I talk in the book about the very fact that when you're a singer, you know, you don't have an instrument in between you and the audience that you can sort of use. You don't hide have behind, a guitar yeah. or a drum <laughs> kit to hide behind or, or to rely on. You just have your own body. And if you get a cold or a sore throat or, a, you know, a bad cough or something, you know, all those things kind of let you down and make you very anxious. So I have a lot of memories of being on tour and constantly worrying about my voice. 